Hello. You may be wondering, hmm, I haven't seen that shirt before. And that's because you haven't. It's the start of a new month and that can only mean one thing. We're giving away some more stuff. So we have something special planned this month for a giveaway. So stick around to the end of the video to find out what exactly is going on. And trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss out on this one. Anyway, I'm Gels from Fibbin Industries and on today's episode of The Build Sheet, we are gonna be diving into some suspension and taking a look at what you need to know about spring rates when it comes to your coilovers. So you know that thing when someone is like talking about something and you know that you should know what they're talking about because it sounds familiar, but it's like so far along in the process that at this point you're just too afraid to ask? Well, this is like one of those situations. When it comes to coilover suspension, things like spring rates are just one of those things that you just kind of like, uh-huh, nod your head in agreement when they're brought up. And don't you lie to me. I see you, you're watching this video for a reason. Don't sit there and tell me that you haven't been at least a little bit confused at some point. So here we go, let's start with the basics. What exactly is the definition of spring rate? In basic terms, it is a correlation between the amount of force or weight that is needed to compress a spring by one inch in the standard measurement of things. In basic terms, it's the correlation between the amount of force or weight that is needed to compress a spring by one inch if you're looking at it from the standard side of things. And we'll get into that in just a second. So if you have a spring that is rated at 300 pounds or a 300 pound spring rate, you can put 300 pounds on it and you can expect to compress by one inch. And that's pretty, pretty straightforward. So how does this relate to coilovers and where does the confusion really come from? The first thing that usually throws some people off or causes some confusion at the very least is that most coilover springs are rated as either like a 6K or 10K spring instead of like our example where we said it's like a 300 pound spring. And in reality, it's pretty simple. You see here in the good old United States of America, we haven't switched to this cool little thing called the metric system yet. So when we hear 300 pound spring, that would make sense to most of us. However, when you hear a number with a K at the end of it, like 6K for example, that is the abbreviated metric equivalent to pounds per inch, which just so happens to be kilograms per millimeter. For the most part, for car suspension like coilovers, this is how spring rate is usually noted. When you get into the truck side of things with coilover suspension lifts and things like that, they're usually measured in pounds per inch. So if you ever need to convert a standard spring rate to metric, just like let's take 500 pounds for example, just divide it by the number 56, which will give you a spring rate of right about 8.9K. Now if you want to do the vice versa, you take that 8.9K, times it by 56, and you'll get right around 500 pounds. So now that we got that out of the way, we can dive right into some different types of springs and what they actually have to offer. So first up, we have the usual linear springs. Now these springs are gonna take our spring rate of let's say 10K and remain consistent or linear throughout its travel range. That means the initial 10K will compress the spring by one millimeter. And when you increase the load to say 20 kilograms or 20K, it will compress another one millimeter. Now these are what we see come standard on most coilovers on the market as they offer great handling that is very predictable in how they're going to perform. However, if you're rolling with a high spring rate, you do suffer a bit as far as comfort of your ride goes. So if you're one of those people more concerned about their ride more than anything, this is where we start to see progressive spring rates come into play. Now progressive spring rates will offer a multiple of different spring rates within one spring design, basically meaning that you have a softer spring rate near the top of the spring that will compress first. And then when you start to get into higher speeds during cornering and things like that, you'll start to hit the higher spring rate as the spring compresses. Now this is great for offering some more comfort with your ride. And you would probably think that it would be a great alternative for someone looking for comfort and performance. And that unfortunately just isn't really the case. You see, with progressive springs, it becomes very unpredictable just when you're going to reach that higher spring rate of the spring, keeping you as the driver not entirely sure of how fast or tight you can take a corner because it's very dependent on a lot of different things going on with the vehicle. Maybe you're not going fast enough to make use of the higher spring rate. You could be taking the corner not as tight. The weight shift could have been different on initiation. All of those kind of things start to come into play whereas if you had a linear spring, you are 100% certain of what to expect all of the time. So what it comes down to is why do we care about spring rates as car enthusiasts? 
Well, for one, when we are looking at changing up suspension in our cars, it's going to be either for one or two reasons, for looks or for performance. And when it comes to looks, it should come as no surprise that people take things to the extreme, especially in today's world of stance cars and fender to lip fitment. You don't want the lip of your wheel bashing into your fender. Now this is why we see static stance cars running such high spring rates because it's needed. They don't want that suspension component to move almost at all. One thing to keep in mind is that it isn't all reliant on the spring rate itself, however, to get the looks or performance out of your coilovers. A lot of it has to do with how the damper of the coilover itself is valved and how it's going to react with the spring that you have chosen for your car. Now, when it comes to determining what spring rate or valving that you need for a specific purpose of what you're doing with your car is where it starts to get just, just a little tricky. And for the sake of not making a 20 minute video, we can save that for another time. Just let us know down in the comments below if that's something that you'd really like us to go over, if that'd be something that's really helpful to you. However, if you are in the market for some coilovers right this second and need that kind of information, you can always shoot us an email. We're always willing to help out if you're looking to make that type of purchase. So now we've reached the end. And if you remember in the beginning, if you didn't skip the beginning, because if you did, I, I just don't know at this point, but we had some great news that we wanted to share with you and we wanted you to stick around to the end. So hopefully you didn't just fast forward to the end either to find out because that's just a lame move, bro. Anyway, we're super excited to announce that we have partnered with BC Racing for the month of August to give away a set of BC racing coilovers. So of course, just like every giveaway, we have created an absolutely killer shirt. Now this one I'm wearing, now wait till you just see the back. I'm gonna turn it around real slow like, cause the mic has been crackling and I don't want it to crackle. Dakota's a crackling. Okay, good. So check out the back of this shirt. It is absolutely killer. It is by far my favorite shirt that we have done so far. Now I know I've said that like every time, it's not crackling. I know I've said it like every time, but we just keep getting better and better with the shirts and they just all become my favorite. So what this is gonna do by picking up one of these shirts is gonna automatically enter you in to win a set of BC Racing BR Series coilovers. Now, just like every other giveaway as well, we always make sure that we give back. So we're gonna be making a donation this month with the help from you guys for with the contributions from every shirt sale to go to the Worldwide Fund for nature. Now this organization has been around for almost 60 years and is the leading organization in conservation efforts. So if you remember last month with the Conan giveaway, we were able to raise over $6,000 for the ASPCA. Thanks to you guys. Thanks to everyone for picking up a shirt. So we're super excited to choose WWF for our organization that we're going to be giving back to this month. So pick up the t-shirt, fitmentindustries.com will have the link below get entered in and win a free set of coilovers. This is the first suspension giveaway that we've ever done. So we're super excited to give away a free set of coilovers. We've given away wheels in the past. We're gonna be giving away some suspension now. We're really glad to be doing this. So pick up a t-shirt, enter it in with a set of coilovers, save some turtles, save some animals and things like that. I'm Jels from Fitment Industries. Don't forget to subscribe. We will see you later. Peace.